as a fellow digitron, what we call ourselves in the anime community, a man of culture, I have my fair share of waifus, just like all of you. We are all down in this rabbit hole of looking at 2D anime girls, together. Now first of all, to start off a top 5 waifus of all time, in my opinion, we first of all need to define what the word waifu means. In the first place, the word waifu, according to the Urban Dictionary, by definition is a turn coined by otaku and weeaboo alike for their 2D significant others, predominantly anime and video game characters. A waifu, in contrast to a harem, is the love between one man and his one and only waifu. You treat your waifu with the utmost respect and courtesy and most refuse to even fap to their beloved, seeing the act as an insult to the non-existent woman they have committed themselves to. Now at first glance, a normal human being who gets things that weebs and League of Legends players don't get such as sunlight, water, a shower, and a graduation certificate from the first grade, they may see this definition and think, why would I be attracted to a 2D woman on my phone screen? To answer this common question, the first is that I am an educated researcher in the field of 2D anime girls. The prime reason why 2D anime girls are able to appeal to teen, adult, and sometimes young males is for one simple reason. They appeal to the male audience. That is their objective. 2D anime characters appeal to the unrealistic male fantasy, which can be a negative thing in our society, as just like a pornographic addiction makes one lose sight of interests of real sex. These 2D anime girls make some males lose sight of having a real relationship with the real woman in the real world. Now as a fellow degenerate, who is down bad for 2D fictional characters. I can say that as someone who has been in this industry ever since the nice bright year of 2011, I would have to personally say that I am more experienced than most others within these fields, but despite the cons of having an anime waifu, I would say that some anime characters are way too hot for their own good. With all the context out of the way, here is No Sucks Top 5 Waifus of All Time. Now to start off, this top 5 waifu tier list, I'm gonna go ahead and, sis and start with the very popular waifu within the anime community. And that person is none other than Alex from Minecraft. Now as a fellow gamer, along with consuming some very questionable anime, I've also played Minecraft during the golden era of 2010 to 2015, specifically starting in 2013 on the Minecraft Java edition due to one of the two friends that I had in elementary school, which is the reason I got these friends was due to the fact that I hit the fact that I watched anime in elementary in my early years. Don't worry, I lost these friends in third grade when I tried to talk about anime and lunch one day. Anyways, one of them told me to get Minecraft Java Edition due to them wanting to enjoy some after school gaming with me, including when we would get home and play other games such as RuneScape, Wizard 101, COD Ghosts, and Club Penguin. Anyways, I remember after first purchasing this game that I learned that there were two primary main characters you could play as. The first one was Steve, which is to this day a man who radiates black Air Force energy. The other one was Alex, and oh my gosh. She was such a baddie back in the day, and she could still contend with other modern top tier waifus. Well, not exactly top tier, more of just normie, such as Mai Sakurajima, Rem, Asuna, and Nagatoro. Now, Alex back then had some elite assets. Then I knew that Notch was making Alex was trying to make one hella good baddie, because Alex got that nice v-neck that shows her two big things, if you know what I mean. Along with that, she is a hard-working woman. Like, unlike a modern TikTok dot, who only knows how to appeal to the monkey brain, Alex knows how to cut down trees, cook food, mine ores, and build a house! Minecraft Alex will not just sit there and watch you grind for that paper, she is someone who could help you grind for that paper, which puts her at my number 5. If you disagree with that, I don't think you deserve to have an opinion, and the fact that you probably just watched Jelly Bean or something. <laughs> Now after that strong number 5, you're probably thinking, how can it get better than Minecraft Alex? But trust me, the next wife who's on my list about to blow your mind, because these next ones are at the cream of the crop. Now at the number 4 spot we got Camilla from Fire Emblem Fates. And when I first saw Camilla of this game, there was one thing that was went through my head as a young child. Titties. So massive that at the time, I thought this was the peak. Like can we take a look at her outfit? Like bro, whoever designed this character should get a Nobel Prize for his efforts. Now as a fellow degenerate, I obviously had to pick up Fire Emblem Heroes, and this game gave me everything that I wanted. 
Camilla skins, like me and Toshiyuki Ku Kusaki Hara, or however you say his name, are like two monkeys in the petting zoo. Like, we have the same ideas. We had the same ideas for Camilla skins. Like, my love for this character is so high. If I had the option of world peace or Camilla's armpit sweat for consumption purposes, you already know that world peace is the inferior option. Now at the number three spot, we have Harold from Thomas and Friends. Now if you haven't watched Thomas and Friends, then you probably grew up as a woman whose parents were absent at your birth. However, I will go ahead and give you some characteristics of what we, of what we men call a king. According to the Thomas the Tank Engine Wiki, an accurate description of Harold is a white helicopter who patrols the skies of Island of Sodor, nicknamed Whirlybird, by the engines, searching for emergencies. In the television series, he is part of the search and rescue team. Now this man identifies as an attack helicopter, so you already know that this man radiates the Black Air Force energy. Ain't no social justice Twitter warrior is gonna cancel this man. Along with that, within his personality, he has a lot of pride because this man can fly. Like if Harold were to box Thomas in the ring, Harold could just fly in the air and take a dump on Thomas, and then just win like that. Like what Thomas gonna do? Grow wings? This man knows that if he is above the trains and he rules like a king. But if you didn't like that aspect of him, later on they develop his character more and later on he acts a lot more mature and acts like a proper Sigma male that he is. This man as a relationship partner would make you save on gas cause this man could just fly you to wherever you want. Like if you want to go to, on a vacation with this man, you don't gotta worry about no plane tickets no more. Since this man could just fly you everywhere and due to his maturity, you know that he can't act up so he's gonna be loyal to you. This man Harold is a king and he only deserves the best girls when we get the Thomas Tank Engine anime in the upcoming future. <laughs> Our number two for this list is Uncle Ruckus himself from the Boondocks. If you haven't watched the Boondocks, I'm sorry. That probably means that your parents probably left you at the hospital after realizing they gave birth to you. Now my man Uncle Ruckus, according to his ancestry statistics. Oh no, no. This, this, this can't be. It says I'm 102% African with a 2% margin of error. Why Lord? Why Lord? Why? So we already know he's gonna have that BBC, which is what we all want in our relationship with the significant others involved. And if I had to describe Uncle Ruckus, I had to say he is definitely at the peak of the male race. This man's hatred for the black man is strong, so we already know if he got hit by the stand arrow, he's gonna get something overpowered like King Crimson, Tusk at 4, or D4C. Along with that, this man got so much ice that the competition can compete with him. Like when you look into this man's eyes, I see a beautiful island beach with a hammock with the sun shining and the waves calm as in autumn leaves. Like, I'm gonna be real with you. If you had the choice between Yami Suki Hiro from Black Clover or Uncle Ruckus, you already know that Uncle Ruckus, that number one pick. Like, bro, you picking Yami Suki Hiro, that's basically saying that Black Clover is better than the Boondocks. You already know that Black Clover is a five at most. Like, if I had the choice of a doctor's form from Harvard University or a chance to see Uncle Ruckus' babies, you already know I'm phone calling Harvard to decline their minuscule offer of a simple doctorate. Because Uncle Ruckus' babies have a way higher value than a Harvard doctorate. Finally, we have the number one pick. Now before I give the number one pick, I'd like to give a shout out to some honorable mentions. First off, we got Boa Hancock from One Piece. You already know that she a peak waifu, but she stood no chance against the baddies that I've talked about. Then there's Hanagawa, Hanakawa from the Monogatari series, when she had the long hair and the glasses. I didn't care if she had those weird parents, I wanted her to be mine. And finally, we have W from Arknights, and I only included her in my honorable mentions for two very big reasons. Finally, at number one, we got Mr. Queen! Now, I know what you're gonna be thinking. Mr. Clean, isn't that the guy from the Super Bowl ad? Yes, that's right. That Mr. Clean. But hear me out. Mr. Clean is a real one, okay? First off, Mr. Clean is caked up. And second of all, this man loyal. This man always on the cleaning grind. So if you marry this man, your house will be clean 24-7. You wouldn't have to pay for cleaning parts no more because Mr. Clean just makes them out of his butt. Like, bro, your countertop, clean. Your toilet, clean. Your floors, clean. Your windows, clean! Everything would be already be clean. This man's a goat. If this man exists in real life, I think I would have to marry this man. I would admit to my parents that I'm gay, and then go marry Mr. Clean. Anyways, thank you for listening to my top 5 waifus of all time. Peace!
my butt hole, niggas in my butt hole, niggas and niggas and niggas in my butt hole.